Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Natoya and I'm here to help you start traveling the world. So in this video guys, I'm going to share with you the top 10 tips I have for first time visitors to Paris and for travelers on a budget. So these are the quick and simple 10 tips I wish I knew when I first started traveling to Paris because it would have saved me a lot of time and a lot of money. I'm going to jump right in. The first tip you need to know is that you need to travel to Paris off season. This is vital. It'll save you a ton of money if you travel off season. And when I say off season, I mean avoid the summertime, um, avoid the Christmas season, just visit Paris in the fall time. Not only will you get to enjoy the fall in France, but you get to enjoy everything being cheaper and on a budget. So the first tip is to go to Paris off season. You'll save money and your flight is even, even going to be cheaper. The next tip to save money in Paris and to do it on a budget is that the neighborhood you stay in Paris is so important. Picking the neighborhood is so important, not only because you want to uh, experience the neighborhood and just have an overall good time, but because it will save you a ton of money. So for example, staying right near the Eiffel Tower is of course gonna cost you way more than staying like on the outskirts of Paris. But the thing is, no matter where you are in Paris, you can easily get to the tourist destinations because you can just take the metro. It's super cheap to get around Paris. Even if you're all the way at the end of Paris in Montmartre, you can still easily get to the Louvre, to the Eiffel Tower. It's easy and it's cheap. So when you're booking a place to stay in Paris, you don't have to stay right next to the Eiffel Tower or tourist destinations. Be sure to watch my video on finding a place to stay in Paris. I'll link that above and below. My third tip for you is that to save money on food and to have an awesome dining experience to is to have the lunch special or the plat de jour. The plat de jour is basically the plate of the day, it's the meal of the day, and it's an affordable budget way to eat out. So the plat de jour range, ranges from 17 euros to about 25 euros. And what it consists of is it can be just the entree alone, or it can be an entree, a starter, an entree, and a dessert. And I made a video all about how to eat on a budget in Paris, and that includes the plat de jour, what it's like, and all that jazz. I'll link that above and below. But if you want to save money, eat during the hours of between like 12 and like 3, because that's when the restaurants are open and that's when you're doing the plat de jour. Eat during the hours and make that your, uh, your biggest meal during the day because it's super cheap. Tip number four, if you're staying in Paris during a longer, if you're having a longer stay, like a month, I just made a video about staying in Paris in a month, or if you're staying for a week, make sure you use an Airbnb. It's way, way cheaper just to rent out someone's apartment while they're gone on vacation or if they're staying with a friend. It's so much cheaper than staying at a hotel. You can't stay at a hotel in Paris. You, there's lots and lots of budget hotels in Paris, but I highly recommend staying with Airbnb because you get that local, you get that feel like you're a local and you get the feel of living in Paris. And again, it's a lot cheaper. You get more value for your money compared to a hotel room where you're just getting a bed and maybe a small fridge. You get an entire apartment, a stove to cook, a refrigerator to hold your groceries, washer, dryer, well, probably just a washer in Paris, but you do get more for your money. So I highly recommend that you stay in Airbnb, particularly if you're staying long term, because you get uh, most properties offer a discounted rate if you stay there, if you book an entire week or an entire month. Tip number five is that because Paris is such a walkable city, you might not even need to spend a lot of money on it the train on transportation and you definitely don't need to rent a car if you're in Paris because it is walkable. At the most you can buy a one-way ticket and do a ton of activities in that area, do a little walking tour, there's a ton of free walking tours in Paris. You can do a little walking tour in that area and then let's take the train back to your apartment. Good news is you don't have to spend a lot of money. When I first went to Paris I bought that ticket, that booklet with like 12 or 13 tickets inside. I didn't use it. Actually, me and my sister shared it and we didn't even use all of it. So just know you don't have to spend a lot of money on the tickets. You don't have to buy a lot of tickets in advance because you can walk around the city for free. Number six is to skip the tourists, uh, the touristy stuff. <laughs> like I find them to be a lot of them to be overrated. I'm not going to name a few because I don't want to like get anyone upset, but I found a lot of them to be overrated and just basically for tourists. Do your research and really see if this is something that you actually want to do. 
uh, because it might just be something you feel like you should do or that's the thing to do in Paris. A lot of it is overrated. I would do a lot of free activities. I would ex explore the city, um, just walk around the city exploring and really just get a feel for the city. Um, that's my favorite th thing to do when I'm in Paris. I like to I like to people watch. I like to wine and dine. Those are the things that I like to do. So just know a lot of things are overrated. Save your money. The next thing is you do not have a, to pack a lot for Paris. You don't need a lot for Paris. There's literally two things you need for Paris. An adapter or a voltage converter and like a shawl or something to cover yourselves to go into like uh, churches or like just holy places you need to cover yourself. Um, if you're using, you definitely need an adapter so you can use electronics in the country and you can plug it into the wall and you might need a voltage converter depending on your device. But again, guys, don't pack a lot for Paris. You don't need a lot. The same things you would use in the, in the, the U.S. Is, are the same things you would use right in Paris, except for a voltage converter and an adapter. Number eight, guys, the next thing is learning French and knowing some basic French is very important. Um, no one will speak to you in English and obviously people speak French there, but unlike many different cities in Europe, in Paris, people are, I, I sometimes feel like people are just against speaking English. So when you're in, so before going to Paris, be sure to learn basic French. I'm talking about please, thank you, like phrases like can I have or how much is that. Just so learn those basic phrases so you can easily communicate with people in different settings like at restaurants, at the grocery store, because again, people will not speak to you in English. And I feel like a lot of people just don't even speak English here. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, but be sure to watch some free YouTube videos on French. You don't have to spend money on it. Just learn some free YouTube just watch those free YouTube videos and you're good to go. Number nine is to not change your money at the, at those um like money kiosks. I don't even know what they're called, but like at the airport, there's a money exchange place where you can change money. Don't change your money there into euros. They will give you a horrible rate. Don't even withdraw money at the airport. You'll get a horrible rate. Um, many banks in the U.S. will exchange euros for you at no cost. I know Capital One does that at no cost for you, at no cost to you. So you can get some euros in the U.S. And after you get some euros in the U.S., when you get to Paris, you can easily find an uh, ATM. Um, I know that the ATMs in McDonald's, just off the top of my head, will only charge you about 99 cents to use the ATM. So you can withdraw some euros there. But again, do not get money from the airport. You'll, you're, you'll end up losing money because of the horrible exchange rate. My final tip, number 10, is to make sure that you have a cell phone plan that works in Paris, that works in France, okay? You might end up spending a lot of money making calls back, back home in the US. Just get a plan that works in France or get a SIM card, an international SIM card that you can put in your phone and you can have data. Now the data part is very important because you'll need to use Google Map and to get around Paris, especially if you're relying on the on the metro, which you should because it's cheaper. You'll need to have a strong internet and you'll need and again have access to the internet. So make sure, so guys, make sure that you have an international SIM card or a phone that works in France. So guys, I really, really hope this video helped. These are, these are just a few things that I think you need to know before visiting Paris. It's an easy country to visit. Um, just know the language, like I said. Um, you're gonna have a great time, don't worry. Be sure to like this video, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.